Welcome back. This is Defender Fabrication. My name's Scott, and I'm gonna do a little short video today. If you've got a JD squared table and you have ever gotten the error that you're seeing on the screen right now, uh, then you know that uh, most likely um, w what that means is you got a little piece of metal or something that is uh, bridging the uh, the tip on your plasma cutter. Now, unfortunately, uh, that's not what I got going on today. Uh, another long shot you can get this you this error is the ohmic uh, uh, wire that uh, runs from the tip of the torch uh, up to the gantry uh, can have um, a, a nick or can be frayed or it, it can somehow be grounding out to the machine. But that don't, that's not what I've got going on today either. Uh, so let me go over to the bench and uh, let me show you what, uh, what, what we're looking at. This is the ohmic sensing and retaining cap that I've been running for since I bought the machine, which is um, just a little over a year ago, about a year and a, three or four weeks. And everything has worked great, and I've got that same error code that I showed you uh, multiple times. And I clean, take everything apart, clean it off, get all the you know little bits of metal, and then blow it out, and everything's usually typically good. Well, this week that stopped happening. In trying to figure out what was going on, JD Squared tells me that it's either got to be the, the the wire or something in this head. So got to thinking about it and uh, checking things out, and I've got unfortunately I don't have. I don't have this piece new. I do have the non-ohmic sensing. And so what I did was initially I checked and just to let you know, we got the um, multimeter hooked up to uh, ohms resistance so we can, con we can detect a um, electrical, or electrical path. And you can see when I touch these together, you know, it shows, it's gonna indicate that uh, we've got a path. So if I put the one probe on the inside and go to the tip, we uh, we have we have uh, we have nothing, but unfortunately, even with the tip off on the uh, used piece, if I go to the inside and I touch the ring where the uh, ohmic sensing wire attaches, we have contact. Now that that um, kind of surprised me because initially I tried this out and did it with the. Um, uh, I'm not sure what the correct term is for this piece, but uh, I thought somehow I had contact, you know, through to here, and this was really dirty and built up, and um, thought maybe that there was, you know, some way that there was a path from inside to to this uh, through that dirt or crud or whatever. But in fact, um, the insulating por portion of this is evidently somehow compromised. So, hey, let's, let's cut this thing off and see if we've got something going on inside here where maybe it has, um, I don't know, I don't know. Let's just see. I'm going to turn the camera off, get set up, and uh, we'll, uh, I'll come back and we'll cut this off and, and see what's underneath of this, uh, this ring to um, create contact, you know, between this inside portion and, and, uh, and this. Let's cut this off and see what we got. <laughs> Man, I don't, I, I don't, I don't see anything. I'd have bet that there was a crack or something. It's um, I thought sure there was gonna be like a uh, a place where this thing got burnt out. I don't see nothing. So how in the heck was that thing somehow okay. There's a spot on the threads Where this thing goes through, there's a spot right there, and if I touch that, but we had contact without this. Let's see, Let's see, we get yeah. Right. 
Yeah, so we got nothing there. We screw that on just a little bit. Then we've got contact. So that evidently was what it was. That little spot right there somehow blew through. But hmm. But if this piece was just on here like this. How in the world? Now see there? Now that's got contact. So what is that touching? Alright, listen. I um I don't know what the heck is going on. Oh, right there. Look there. Can I get it to do it again? There was something right there. Huh. Man, I don't know. Anyway, I just thought this might help somebody troubleshoot this problem in the future. You know, if if, it, if it's telling you it's got debris and you got everything cleaned up and then JD Squared's telling you it's got to be the wire, but the wire looks good and everything's great, um, there's your culprit. I mean, we see here not only is there a bad spot there, but there was something somewhere else. Evidently, this thing is just degraded to a point where it needs to be replaced. All right, listen, like, comment, subscribe, and all that happy stuff. Hope I helped somebody. See you, thanks.